Hey everyone, um, can you hear me fine? Um, I'm gonna start making the ninja model I started on the last stream. Uh, it's been like three, three or four weeks. So I need to get back to the like the drawing boards of like what kind of like design I was working on, but in general, uh, I'll need to like start like doing some like concepts to get it going. So currently, I have the base mesh from the last stream, and currently I do have some references in the uh, pure ref in the other side of the monitor. And currently, I'm. This is just like looking like a generic um, ninja model. Uh, well, it's just a blonde character. So um, I'll need to fix some stuff and then get going with designs. So just before I started the stream, I just like tweaked slightly the uh, shape of the head, position of the eyes and a bit of a uh, muscle structure uh, is tweaked but for, for now it's not really that important compared to the overall design so if you have this kind of like model um, you can buy this at uh, amazon you can um, paint it to have some sh shades so it's easy to check the muscles but um, you can use this kind of like anatomy model to get your stuff going. So after I've done the initial like basic design of the well base mesh, um, then I'll need to switch to the design aspect. So let me start with that. So I'm gonna try to like roughly sculpt out some kind of like a design. So I'll try to like duplicate this one and I'll use zero masher roughly I just need a couple of like polygons this is fine and I don't need the entire um, hand and the legs so I'm gonna trim this off like this and I don't need the next hello hello and I'm gonna delete this and here it is and I just need to inflate a bit like this and let me just like color this slightly so it's like gray so I can easily see what I'm talking about. Also I don't think I need the hairs right now and I'm gonna move the entire like hair into a single folder so hair so here we go and the, uh, the headband itself. Okay, so we're gonna make a basic design for the the sci-fi suit of this ninja. I was like thinking about like um, a fantasy kind of like ninja, but like I was like, I was like, nah, I did that before, and, like. So I do want to make something sci-fi. So I do want to have a separate, maybe this is a bit too dark. Don't need that much color. 
and hmm. I'm going to roughly design an armor piece that can go with this character. If you have any questions, let me know. If it's like related to the stream, it will be easy for me to answer, but you can ask me a couple of like technical questions if you have them. So currently I'm just like drafting, so um, this could be multiple designs. Like it doesn't need to be like refined. It, it just needs to be roughly shaped so I can basically design them afterwards. Is ZBrush used in the industry for modeling characters for games, movie, or is it strictly for printable models and costing? It's both. Like, um, like it's hard to find a movie that doesn't use ZBrush, and like most of the modern like AAA games, like mostly using ZBrush for um, like normal mapping and like rough concept models and stuff like that. And also, like if you look at like. Um, 3D printing industries, like most of it, use ZBrush as well. Like figurines, statues, all sort of things. Like if you want to, like, take a look at what industries that ZBrush is using, you being used, um, you can take a look at the ZBrush Central, uh, and also you can take a look at the ZBrush Summit series, Summit, where um, the industry professional is doing the presentation for us. So um for the user it's it's a lot of like um a lot of like industries you can learn from and there's a lot of like presentations where uh, they are basically introducing how they do it so uh for someone who starts to refresh from game mainly what would you suggest to set up as pen button functions and what would you say is important to keep in mind? Um, button functions. I, I don't like, like mine, mine is default. So uh, it just has the right click and the double uh, click. And that's it. I don't tweak um, pen buttons that much. Also, I use the um, default keys. And I just use the default um, keyboards. Some people go really hard with the um, left hand like function things like shortcut like like um, logical and logitech stuff um it's it's fine like some people love it like I, I don't really like it because like if i need to go to another place and teach some people um i can't really have the capability to bring that set up as well so um I usually just use the default key bindings and just a couple of like um, custom UIs, like for example, back face masking and topo topological setting and uh, all the fancy jazz you can see on the bottom. So that's it. Oh, uh, I think I don't think you can see the bottom. Uh, let me just uh, hide the image so you can see. So I have the zero measure. Um, settings and then delete hidden mirror mirror weld divide and polish that's it I wasn't sure about it since I heard a lot of people talking about zebrish models and not ideal in game ready assets um, like you can say a lot of things about like one aspect like 
yeah, ZBrush is really good at like high density meshes, but you can um, bake them down into normals. So um, if you have a low poly game ready model, and then you have the uh, high poly sculpt models, um, you can just like bake the uh, details on top of it. So um, you just need to learn how to do that. So it's not really like a hard concept to grasp. Uh, take your art station. Um, I don't really update my art station that much. Like I post them on Instagram lately. Uh, instead. So you can take a look at this if you. So I usually make SVG models, uh, basically for three D printing and figurines and such. Someone follow me, I guess. Hmm. Maybe having a cylinder would be nice. I'm going to mirror weld, so it has it on the opposite side as well, and hmm. what kind of color should I assign? Green, red. Purple. Purple could be interesting. I'm going to use quick save just in case. And I just need to move this around.
Don't need it too dense. Have something like this as well. And mirror and weld with thickness. Offset and rotate around. Maybe I could change this design afterwards, but for now it's fine. This is like where she stores all the um, tools, like. Um, knives and stuff so could be interesting and currently she doesn't look really interesting so um let's add some elements Hello, welcome. I'm currently working on a design of Ninja, so um, I'm thinking about kind of like a sci fi suit right now, but. It could be anything, like, it could change. Ooh. I need to set this to silent mode. A couple of people following me, thanks. Um, it's not my intent to, uh, like, make new followers on the stream, but yeah. Let's see, maybe black could be a good color. Uh, purple won't be too strong. Oh, well, not much. Could be could be a good color. So she she could have a black base and a purple color. How many years have you been doing digital sculpting? Um, I started around two thousand thirteen, so nine and ten years. Initially, I like um, I had no idea that I was like going into this profession. Like I'm, I used to like draw things, like doing two D illustration, that compared to like my like three D career. But like um, I work for a three D printing company where, well, a traditional like uh, printing company started a three D printing division. And I was the first one to like uh, start there, I guess. So there was no like established pipelines, like, there's not really a like 
the person who can like educate and like it was like lacking a lot, lot of things so like i had to like introduce zbrush and like start like learning about zbrush and stuff like that so it was like um it was a really like unique opportunity Will I be able to create the same beautiful characters in one day of stu study? Eh, it depends on the intensity and um, who you get guidance from. Like, yeah, some people do this kind of stuff in like uh, half, a, half a year. Uh, you'll be surprised. Like, uh, some people just need to have like a month to do it. But like, for me, it took me, it took me like couple of like months to actually learn about the software and after a couple of years um I got the hang of the 3 3 D so um it took me a while but I think it was worth it. Hmm. So I'm going to use the um, mesh extrude function. So mesh extrude will add a new mesh, but it needs to, like, currently I want to split this afterwards, so I need to add some kind of a base mesh so I can chuck this afterwards and then yeah something like this so i'm gonna try to get some shapes and um, use the picker constant so it floats above the surface like this and i'm gonna use the snake hook function so i can play around with it and currently there's lack of thickness so i can use the back face masking also i can use the masking feature as well, add thickness. Also, if this part is like too long, if she bends like oh, like bends over, um, she's gonna like um, absolutely hit the ribs. <laughs> uh yeah so we just need to take care of that also if she's gonna have some kind of like cable stuck or like attachments on this could be interesting Could be a cable surrounding it as well so um, currently these suit max resolution so i'm going to add it I'm picking up sculpting really fast, but technical side of things is a bother, not gonna lie. Do you have a wife? Does a woman interfere with sculpting? What? 
<laughs> what? No, I'm single. Maybe I should add a bit of a layer to this. Like so. Something like this. It might be interesting to have a bit of a contrast like this. And maybe squash it down so it has a uniform shape. I'm not sure if YouTube allows the um, URLs to be posted. Um, yeah, you can share the um, ID if you want. Um, I don't think it's a problem. But um, I think the permission setting doesn't allow you to share the URLs. Unless you're some kind of like a moderator or something. Hmm. It's really fun when you like accidentally get some really cool shapes with uh, the mesh attribute.
Um, should remove the crease. The crease, zero measure. Don't think I need too much. And the thickness. Maybe the segments. Yeah, we're fine. And mask, scale down. It'd be interesting to bend. Rotate. the separate yeah. okay it is separate so I just need to delete the subdivision levels maybe 1k or 2k should be fine and um, flip get the same kind of stuff Maybe color them differently. Hmm.
Maybe with a dog or two. I'm using a Cintiq um, 24, I guess. Yeah, I think it dep depends on your preference. Oh, uh, needs to be. I guess I should separate the two. Really, like, it's not really fast for me, like, it's really casual, like, I need to think about the designs and then how to get get the shapes out of it, so. Oh, I'm from Japan. I speak uh, a British kind of like English and Japanese.
<laughs> yeah, like it, it's really hard to like get distracted with the details. Like, I tend to do that too. Like, you need to do a bit of a detail and then just like forget about it. Mm, depends. <laughs> like I started from a normal pen tablet where you can just like use that for a while. Some people like even professional prefer that method compared to the Cintiq. But for me, like, um, I wasn't able to get the hang of the pen tablet that much. So um, my way of, like, drawing was to, like, look at the paper and then get the drawing done. So, like, I had to have my hand on the screen to get a good, good like, line. Also, like, I've experienced... Um, there was a significant like delay on my like um, sculpting time or the drawing time like if i draw on paper it doesn't take much time but like if i draw on pen tablet because like i'm not looking at my hand strokes it was hard for me to get the um the good strokes that i was looking for so um for me it was a really good investment to like by Cintiqs but that really depends on each person so I'm not gonna say like it's like it's like 100% worth your like money but like it, it really depends on it depends on your like preferences skills um, environment uh, your budget as well but if you have the money, you can try. The good thing about like Cintiq is that it doesn't really like deplete in the um, second hand markets. So it's not going to like uh, instantly like make you regret you bought it. <laughs> that, part of, that part is really good. Maybe a darker color. RGB. Nope. Mm, and then you can have a different. Layer here. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I'm back. Yeah, I was busy with the um, the the release and marketing and a lot of things. I wish I could do this all day, man. Like, I just want to sculpt, man. But I do 
have to do some kind of like a job. <laughs> No, I work for Maxon. So basically, I'm a part of ZBrush team, the ZBrush development team, and I usually do 3D sculpting as my hobby. So what you see on Instagram is my free time. I'm thinking about adding something like this. It's a um, earmuff for like shooters. So um, it could be like this could be used as an enhancement for listening. So. And I think there's a potential to add this kind of feature. So let me think about some fans, I guess. So I'm going to just make the cylinder shape like this. And I'm just going to isolate this, look at the topology, and slide this side, this side. And delete. And I'm just need to add thickness. Like this. Just a slightly. And move with the move infinite depth. Something like this. This could be designed as well. It, it's just like a it's like a band right now, so AI topic? I don't know. I personally like there there is a couple of potential for AIs, like for really rapid like concept design and stuff. But I don't think like just like adding an AI like uh, would enhance the experience that much. Like um You can like combine the existing UIs or the well, no, no, not the UIs, like the AIs, to like enhance your workflows, anyways, if you want. But like, it doesn't add any like additional value. Right now, just like natively adding to ZBrush, right? So it's difficult.
But you, you never know. Like, we could totally change our minds and, like, say, oh, hey, AI is at the, 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 like the future. <laughs> well, like, it's not going to take your job. People like to say that, but like, for example, um, I hear the same argument where uh, a people were like complaining about the 3D scanner being like, oh, I, we don't need 3D modelers anymore and stuff like that. No, it's not going to happen. Hello, welcome. Maybe the earmuffs are a bit like too non sci fi. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not like look, sci fi looking right now. So maybe I need to tweak this slightly. Like when it comes to like new technology, like when I look at those kind of topics, like people like to go to the extreme, like, um, but usually it's the middle ground. Like I have heard that 3D printers will like revolutionize like manufacturing. It did, but it's not like 100%, like it's not like, fully replaced by like 3d printing right so And like it's kind of dumb when you're like uh, like when you're like investing like for example if you if you're a company owner and then if you're in, like investing a facility and then um, if a new technology comes up you're not gonna like chuck away most of the things you've invested in so it's like likely that you're gonna add to that facility. Hey, thanks. Take some good rest.
Okay, I'm going to copy this on the opposite side. So I need to do X and then Z. And where did it go? Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just need to move this around. Like this. And I need to move the middle cable around. And currently it doesn't look sci-fi, so I'm going to add some sci-fi elements to this. Also might be interesting to add a cylinder and maybe color black. This could be another shape afterwards. So I'm just gonna temporarily place this and someone said 3D printers will kill resin cast for garage kits and figures. Well, I have a resin 3D printer and the quality doesn't even come close to resin kits. I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. It's good that it has the capability to do some of the work, but it's not like 100%. I also think that good technology doesn't need to replace everything like um, if it could replace one aspect of the um, pipeline or the tools or the process I think that's a good innovation it could totally like wipe out the um, the unnecessary like tasks but I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I want to have a, a metal part around this. Hmm. Like this color and then switch out a bit and then move. And Mm, I don't want this to be too long. Maybe this should be fine. And let's see. Bend curve. Fly point should be fine.
Maybe I could add additional parts. I could use tapering, uh, taper. like this and bend arc no bend curve Maybe I could add a bit of the panel here. Um, extract without thickness. Snake hook. And with thickness, well, before I do that, I guess a bit of a zero mesh. B mesh. What mistakes should I avoid? You'll like. You're likely gonna learn from by mistakes. Uh, it's no point like saying that like avoid this and that <laughs> before you get the mistake. Like every mistake, mi mistake you can like learn from. So. Well, I guess I can say, um, don't be scared of, about mistakes. <laughs> that would be a big mistake. Can I send you my work for tips in anime style sculpting? Um, I don't think I have much time to be honest. Like I'm pretty busy doing my um, daily job. So you can ask a couple of like Japanese artists and like send your portfolios and then ask well politely if they decline don't push it but some people are really like interested in like people learning so like for example um, Sakaki Kaoru 
is one of our super live streamers and he's like really passionate about about those kind of people who's like passionate so um you might have a chance reaching out to him but i don't know i can't promise he's pretty much a busy guy himself as well Mm, purple on purple doesn't really look nice. Maybe black. Black. Maybe need some additional colors for accent. Well, we'll, we'll think about that. Currently, we just have some pots around her uh, face so maybe additional pots necessary currently it just like look like a jacket so let's see we could add some like hard surface elements on the shoulders She could have a visor, maybe. Hmm. It'd be interesting to have some long shapes like this. But it doesn't look really cool actually she, she she looked like she has a shoulder on the long wrong place so mm. let's see if i can like improve upon this Also, there's like a lot of ways you can get feedback as well. Like, for example, you can post them on Zebra Central to get feedback, um, asking uh, for critiques. But I don't see a lot of people doing that. So like, people can do that. Like some people are forgetting. Maybe. It's not just a place you can like post artwork. Like you can get feedback as well. Uh, Sagaki has a art station and Twitter. He's more active on Twitter. Well, most Japanese people are active on Twitter.
But just keep in mind that some Japanese people don't really speak English, so. <laughs> so usually it's best to like um, put the English text and then right next to it and have the automatic translation. Um, I recommend that method because like sometimes the automatic translations get like really really bad translations and it's better to have the original text as well I sometimes wonder if you have some plots like this, like around your like um like around your like hip. Does it like interfere with your like move like hands move like if you want to have like something like dangling, like for example your hands dangling, it's gonna hit you. <laughs> like it can't be that long, right? Yeah, so maybe this kind of taper could help. But also it doesn't like interfere with your like body movement. Would be interesting to have cables. Um, I can run cables using the curve tools, curve tubes. I just need to have some kind of like dummy so I can do delete this afterwards. And let's see. I just need one side. Uh, let me see picker constant C And let's see if I can do an interesting shape. I don't need this anymore. I need this.
yeah, like the knees and the hips and the yeah, it, it's it looks like a a skirt, but like sometimes like it looks like so annoying for me. But it, it is a cool design. Like I, like it, it's cool, but is it practical? I don't know. <laughs> So there could be a couple of like cable management kind of like shapes on the suit. Also, there could be cylinder parts. Oh, like, <laughs> I think she deserves deserves some kind of like a visor or, or some kind of like a shield in front of her face for some reason. Like, it fits the design pretty nice. I was thinking about gas masks, but could be interesting. Well, let me try the gas mask first. Uh, might find some like accidental designs. Yeah. Could be interesting. Uh, mirror and weld. Was it not painted? Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Be like this could be could be gold shapes could be let me try out a Gas mask approach. Uh, I did think about the gas mask approach where she's wearing a type of a gas mask. So for gas masks, it could be done by pretty much like a cylinder. You just add a bit of a gray and just play around with this. So usually ghost masks stops around here the forehead and then it will like rim around the face deal with the hairs uh, on 3d printing mm. that's a tricky topic like you just want to have a 
the 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 right amount of thickness for your hairs. Sorry. <clears throat> You, you do want to have some kind of right amount of like thickness for the hairs and then uh, trying to like find out the right amount is like a bit of a tricky topic. And let's see. Um... It does need to like fit the eyes of the characters, so it could look a bit weird on the anime characters. And then at the same time, it could look good as well, so I'm fitting it on, making it cool. Uh, let's see, um, cylinder 3D, oh, see I might need to tweak the cylinder where I need the holes in the center, and then made it bigger, and like this. Tinted. And then let's see. Color can be a bit black. Oh, didn't I do the coloring for this one again? Flip it the other way around. Make this a bit flat. Hmm. Very tricky. <laughs> uh, may not need this amount of thickness. I think we can put the gas mask aside, by the way. Um, like, she doesn't need to wear it directly. So, like, she's like putting it on her, like, a part of a suit or something. It's just a rough, rough shape, so it kind of gets the overall design sorted. And then you might have... Can't 
canister. Or basically a filter. Some designs you might have two filters, but in this case you might just need one. And like if she's like right-handed and like she if she's like using a gun, she's gonna like put the cheeks onto the um, right hand side. So if that's the case, like she's gonna wear a canister on this side, right? Duplicate and make a smaller one so it's connecting. Just a simple rough design. Hmm. How do like anime characters wear gas masks, by the way? <laughs> and a gas mask. Oh, she doesn't wear a full face gas mask, that's it. Hmm, <laughs> smart. Yeah, she's gonna wear a respirator type, like really like small ones, not the full. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> what did I think of that? I don't know. I'm dumb. Ah, let's see. Hmm. I guess she could, like, hide. Let's see if that works, to be honest. I, I can quickly cut this shape. I can duplicate and then cut. No, oh, subdivision levels. And then mirror and weld. Let's see. Kind of works. What do you think? What, what do you guys think? Yeah, my. If it's like. It, 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 like, if you want to show the like the cute girl aspect, then yeah, you know, like I, I think you need to show a bit of her face, right? <laughs> yeah, it does look cute. I can work on this.
Um, let's see. Also, didn't I edit the thing here? She's really, really pale. So let's see. Adding a bit of a gray and then uh, no, two gray, this gray, and then adding a bit of a gray like this. And yeah, the gas canisters like look a bit weird. Hmm. She does have a lot going on around her face, but like she lacks the element. Except for that, so like I need to work on those. And the gas mask doesn't like. Oh, I need to find the idea oh, move for the gas masks. What am I doing? So I'm going to combine the cylinder and I don't, I don't think I need these anymore. So I'm going to combine this and this, so I'm going to merge, merge down and I don't need the extra stuff on the back quick save just in case oh. something like this and zero mesh oh let me just like combine the two and then zero mesh line mesh zero mesh And like, it's not typically this long, so like, according to the picture I'm looking, it's not this long, so. Something like this. And. Okay, so. Gas canisters usually go 
two. Oh. Needs to be two parts here. Also, I bought some references, so I should be able to like look at the actual thing um, after a couple of days. So I'm gonna like tweak size accordingly. Also, uh, the plastic thing that I thought would be nice is currently <laughs> interfering with the design. So let's think about that as well. Maybe better to just like have it on both sides. This could be interesting. So let me just add another um, well, cylinder. Well, that's a circle, but I'm going to replace it with a cylinder. And tweak the size. Like this. Maybe keep the corners slightly. Mm. Keeping the corners. Like so maybe slightly bevel. And bevel not too wide. It could be like this, and something like this, and it seems like there's a additional like shape going on usually around here I can I think I can just like have this on the opposite side as well. Looks a bit more refined. And I think I can have a design where It looks more like a half a cylinder to me, so um, I'm going to need to um, crop this. 
heal. No, not this side. Like this. Step down. Rotate. Scale. And clip curve a knife. Maybe a knife. Uh, knife curve. Slice. Like this. Zero mesh. Oh, I don't need 5k density. Okay, so I'm gonna have this and then place it around the surface. Doesn't need to be too big. And duplicating. Hmm. I think I'm going to duplicate and then um, mirror and weld and then combine like this and then I'm going to have this like this and Duplicate. I just need a single part that I can duplicate. Poly group. Just need this. Wait, hidden. Move this around. Mirror and weld. And then combine and then let's see i need to scale this down so it fits the thing nicely i need another row as well um, I guess something like this.
Mm. I think I need to work on the designs for the glass mask itself. But yeah, well, I'll have to design this for now. For now. <clears throat> Not the intended goal for now. Any guys on pixel logic concerning the 3D printing figurines to learn from? Um, yeah, this month, like tutorials where um, we go over the process of like 3D printing. Um, You can search the term uh, prepping your models for 3D prints and then like you you'll find a lot of like videos related to it. And also we've done a lot of like um, live stream in the past where we introduced the um, process of like getting the um, mesh prepped for like, 3D prints. I need to tweak the colors of the hair colors. Oh, so currently there's no like purple line on the suit itself. Might need to add some design element to that. Mm. Okay, I only have like 10 minutes to go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Might need to... Like, purple in this area might not fit. So, be having a black line here. Also, glove might be needed. Like, she's wearing a gas mask. So, glove.
Yeah, I'm, I'll need to like work on the designs a bit. <laughs> like, I do think I need to collect more references. Especially like a, around her back, like I don't really have a good design around here. So I need to decide on like what kind of design so she's gonna have around this area too. Could be a sleeve kind of like a collar and then also this is like really loose but like it could be tightened a bit around the wrist And hey, just casually designing this company. Mm. Also, there could be an armor piece here. Thanks. Like, I'm coming up with this on the fly. Like, I do prep some, like, references, but, like, I'm working on the designs as I go along. So, I might change during the, um, I might change my mind during the stream. And, like, for example, I was, like, having to, like, think about a full face gas mask, but, like, it didn't, like, fit. The character so like i've chucked that design entirely
yeah, eventually. But not for now, because like I'm still working on the designs. Okay, I'm gonna end my stream here. Uh, hope you had fun. Well, I totally had fun. <laughs> I just need to think about more designs, make more elements, uh, so I can finish this model. But for now, um, it's the end of the stream. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>